Hi, my name is Li Gonghan. I'm glad to introduce our work, Prox Edit, improving tuning free real image editing with proximal guidance. We introduce proximal guidance for real image editing. We can roughly think of it as a tuning free, non text inversion, and potentially has better background preservation. Here's a brief recap of non text inversion. It employs the pivotal tuning of the null text embedding, such that the reconstruction path shown in blue tracks the inversion path shown in yellow. It shows great editing results, but one drawback is that it still requires per image test time optimization. Also, the optimization might not be optimal. Here is the optimization objective of null text inversion. We optimize the null text embedding shown in green such that the reconstruction path shown in blue with bar tracks the inversion path shown in yellow with star. In our formulation, we split the Z star variable by introducing the DDIM reconstruction path shown in red with hat. So we want to align the blue path with the red path instead of the yellow one, as in the case of null text inversion. And we put it as a constraint that the red should be equal to the yellow. The reason to do this is that it turns out such optimization without considering the constraint has an exact closed form solution, which says that the null embedding equals to the source prompt embedding. As for the constraint, we can simply perform one step of gradient descent, but without extra gradient computation or network forward, so it is very efficient. In conclusion, in this way, we avoid the computation expensive optimization by avoiding the optimization with a closed form solution. It can be easily seen in the algorithm box. We're basically adding two lines. First, we replace now with source prompt embedding and add a proximal operator. Second, we add a one-step gradient descent on the obtained latent z p minus one. Note that if step size eta equals one, we're replacing z tilde with z star. This replacement is performed on the regions indicated by a binary mask. This mask is ob obtained from proximal operator. The mask indicates that uh, which part we do not wish to edit or change. So the proximal operator is commonly used in convex optimization. Two commonly used functions are hard thresholding and soft thresholding. We can see the thresholding gives us an extra tuning knob and flexibility. If we threshold all values to zero, then the classifier free guidance score reduced to the source prompt score, and then the generation path becomes the DDIM reconstruction path. Here are some experimental results. The first row shows the reconstruction and the second row shows editing results. We see that we have better preservation of background. We can see due to imperfect optimization, even null text inversion can cause some unwanted artifact, such as the fork is missing in the second row. And also here, the chair is not correctly reconstructed. We can also see the example here. We can easily extend the proximal guidance to other framework like DDPM inversion framework. And also we introduce proximal guidance to master control framework. In this example, we show that 
we can better preserve the background details. Here's a comparison between prompt to prompt and MASA control. The goal here is to show the difference, uh, the different control mechanism have different use cases and behaviors. Finally, we show some initial results of personalized image editing. The idea is to replace the original stable diffusion with a personalized model for editing. Here, we utilize the Elite encoder, which is an amortized textual inversion encoder. For example, here we want to change this cat to this, this specific cat or this specific dog, given in the reference images. Here's one more example. We see that in general, proximal noctex inversion framework gives better results than the DDPM inversion framework. Thanks. Please check our code on the provided website.